they, I, I thought this was my building and I feel terrible that I'm getting stopped, accosted, asking for passes. I, everybody in this building should know who the hell I am. And I'm getting stopped. I can't move around this building. Like I, I, I was like, what the hell? Is this Madison Square Garden? I'm gonna have to call Mr. Dolan and say, geez, is my number in the rafters or what? I don't even know what to say. Stephen A., just go. Just go. I, I'm not even going to tee you up. You know, <clears throat> the New York Knicks are having a very, very good season, considering their expectations. And to see the job that Leon Rose, World Wide West, William Wesley, Scott Perry, and, of course, Coach Tom Thibodeau is doing, I just can't say enough about it. Last night, notwithstanding, against Milwaukee, clearly they were rusty, had the day off, and they got blitzed. We get that. <laughs> But they've been very, very competitive for the most part throughout this season. And despite the greatness we're witnessing from the Brooklyn Nets, the Knicks are showing you that this is still a Knicks town because even though they don't compare to the Nets in any way, every little thing that they do right, we actually love and salivate over. And, you know, all of a sudden your pride kicks in because you're hopeful for the New York Knicks. And on cue, there is always something that happens with Madison Square Garden to steal the headlines away from anything positive that's happening with the New York Knicks organization. One minute is Charles Oakley. Another minute, it's Spike Lee. You, you know, you got security forcibly removing Charles Oakley from the, from, from, from the stands. You've got Spike Lee. Everybody on the planet Earth knows Spike Lee is synonymous with the New York Knicks. And the money that he pays for those courtside seats and the way he has marketed and branded and helped brand that franchise on his own, despite the fact that they weren't deserving of it literally for decades, you got a problem with him in terms of his past and whatever location he was supposed to be in or whatever door he was supposed to come through and all of this stuff. And now you have Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing never delivered the championship match. That much is true. That's about the only thing he did not do for the New York Knicks franchise. When you consider the all-time, I mean, what do you say? A career 21-point-per-game scorer, 15 seasons with the New York Knicks. I'm just looking at him now. You know, going to two NBA Finals appearances, stuff like that. I mean, are you kidding me? Patrick Ewing, who has been the face of that franchise for, for, for the better part of two decades, and he has these kind of problems. Once again, even though some people are going to sit up there and say it has nothing to do with Dolan, yes, it does. And the reason why it does is because when you, if you're James Dolan and you conspicuously hold folks in high regard, everybody in the garden is going to know that. Everybody in the garden is going to know that. Now, whoever the security personnel is that don't know Patrick Ewing, I, 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 it might be a fireable offense. And oh, by the way, you think the seven footer is right, right, some right, dude who listen, didn't play right, basketball. Listen. And by the way, and if you do know him, if you do know him, but you're still insisting on a pass anyway for Patrick Ewing, there's just an absence of appreciation and gratitude for what he has brought to this franchise. And it's just a, the latest embarrassing moment. I'm not going to say the Knicks. It's the latest embarrassing moment. For James Dolan's Madison Square Garden. Somehow, some way, here you are again doing something like this. Uh, first, they came for Charles Oakley, and some people were silent. Then they came for Patrick Ewing. Charles Oakley and Patrick Ewing? Yeah. I tweeted it last night. Like, what's, what's you know, if Dolan owned the whole Hall of Justice, Green Lantern and Superman would be out of luck. Yeah. Like, what, what's next? Can you imagine Derek Jeter? Getting hassled at Yankee Stadium. What's even, though that, even though you are talking about El Capitan, a champion. Well, hold, hold five up. times over. You Patrick, are talking, a little Patrick Ewing didn't fail to deliver a championship. The Garden, the Knicks failed to surround him with a championship team. Let's be honest. He didn't have another all-star well, to play with on he, offense. He did have uh, it, but they ran into Jordan. But go uh, okay, And Elijah fine. Wan. Fine. Uh, okay, fine. He got, to, okay. he got to two different finals. Okay. He was a powerhouse. He yes. brought pride to New York and yes. to the Knicks yes. day in and day yes, out. he did. He was a great defender. Yes. He worked hard. He led by example. Yes, He's he in the did. Hall of Fame. Like, it goes on and on. What's next? Is the Pope going to get hassled? 
hassled at the Vatican? <laughs> is Aquaman going to get hassled in the ocean? Yeah. Like, what's the, what's the metaphor? What's the analogy yeah, here? It's, it's insane what's going on. And you talked about the Knicks with expectations. Well, they're doing well considering the expectations. Well, guess what? When Patrick Ewing was on the Knicks, you had expectations every single year just because you had Patrick Ewing. Just because Patrick Ewing was holding it down for New York. Yeah. And you know who his number one crime partner was, Stephen A? Oakley. The next guy you'd think of is Charles Oakley. Patrick Ewing and Charles Oakley, the heart and soul of the Knicks for Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.